Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Technotalks here. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to enable RCS on your Android device. This works on any Android device. Um, the only thing you need to check before you watch this video is if your carrier supports RCS. As of right now, I know that Verizon, AT&T, Sprint, I'm pretty sure, Cricket, um, they support it and there are a couple more. Um, just go on your web browser, search up which carrier support RCS and then you'll be able to find it. So once you do that, all you have to do is go to your Android device, go to the Play Store, and you're going to have to download Google Messages. That's what Google Messages looks like right there. And then you're going to have to set that as your default messaging app. So if for me, in my case, I had Samsung Messages. Once I clicked on Google Messages, I had to set it as my default. So you're going to set it as your default. Once you do that, you're going to be greeted with this. All your texts are going to get moved onto here. So... The way we're going to enable RCS or chat features is we're going to click these three buttons on the top right, you're going to go to settings, and then as you can see chat features is right here. So normally this is going to be turned off for you guys, so it's going to be like this, and you're just going to have to turn it on and it's going to connect. So let's talk about the features that it has. So one thing that I'm going to talk about is that chat features uses your LT data or Wi-Fi instead of using the way the normal way that MMS and SMS work. So you're going to be able to send high quality video, high quality images, and it's just going to be a better experience when you're texting. So if you guys are familiar with iMessages and you guys know about like how when you send something, um, you know if they read it or if it's sent, basically you have this on your RCS. So it's iMessages for Android. Um, so let's talk about the stuff that it has. So send read receipts. Um, this is how you. So the person that has RCS enabled, that's how they um, they can see if you read their messages or not, and that's for you as well. So show typing indicators. This is when someone is typing. There's like a little bubble on the bottom left that pops up as as they're typing, so you can tell if they're typing. And then show typing um, resend messages if undelivered. So what this is. Since RCS uses um, your LT data or Wi-Fi, if you're not able to access those, it just sends the message as an SMS or an MMS instead of that. And then there's just this auto download feature, so I just keep it on default 105 megabits, megabytes. So um, one thing I'd like to talk about is RCS is if you guys know WhatsApp, RCS is basically that. So as you can see right here, I sent a message and it's been read. You can tell that, you can see that it's been read. So if you wanna know if the person you're texting has RCS enabled, you're gonna click these three dots right here. And once you click that, there's gonna be a section that it says change to SMS or MMS. And what that means is that you can change the SMS and MMS. So that indicates that they already have RCS and you're able to switch back to it, switch back to SMS and MMS. So that's a nice way to tell if the person that you're texting has RCS enabled. Um, so that's about it for this video. That's how you turn on, that's how you activate RCS on your Android device. Um, I'd recommend RCS over SMS and MMS. Um, I would like, um, if you guys would like to try it out, do it. It's a hundred percent worth it. Um, after I started using it, like normally I use Samsung messages, which was MMS and SMS. After I switched, it was way better. I hope Samsung messages gets this update on their, on their app so we can get RCS on Samsung messages. So that's about it for this video. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe and see you in the next one.